Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can really add some life to your shapes within a Keynote presentation. So as you know, Keynote, whether it's iOS or Mac, has over 700 different pre-created shapes built in. Let's grab an example of one. I'm going to use this tomato right here. And so you can see by default, it's just a very simple shape uh, showing off what it is, which is a tomato in this case. Um, and of course, I can click on it and head over to my format menu and do things like change the fill color. But the problem is it's just a flat shape. There's no dimension and it's kind of hard to edit. So what are my options and how I can bring this to life a little bit? Well, some of the shapes have the ability to be broken apart. If you right click on them, you may see this break apart option available. However, that's not available with all of the shapes. It really depends. I would say about half of them can be broken apart. Now, if I could break this apart, then I'd be able to change the color of, say, the leaves on the top as opposed to the body of the tomato. But this particular example cannot be broken apart. So I'm kind of stuck there. Um, of course, I can change the background color. I can give it a border and a shadow and all that, but it still doesn't really look like a true tomato. So really quick, I'm going to show you how we can add some life to this. And the first thing and most obvious thing is to make the leaves a different color from the tomato itself. And so what I'm going to do is just move my tomato over to the side here, and I'm going to Command D to duplicate it. So I have a perfect copy. And now what I want to do is I want to basically mask out just this top part right here. Now there are lots of ways to do this. I like to use the uh, pen tool within Keynote and you can find that by clicking on the shapes menu and over here in the top right corner is that pen tool and it allows me to draw with my mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to draw a shape just by adding a bunch of points right around the base of the leaves for this tomato. The top part doesn't matter so much. Uh, just creating a shape kind of like this. And then once it's created, I can kind of move it around a little bit just so it's exactly where I want it. Now, here's the key. We're going to subtract those two shapes so that we just have this top piece. So I'm going to click and drag to select both the whole tomato and that shape that I just drew. And then I'm going to head over to my Format and Arrange menu, and here I have the opportunity to intersect. And what that does is it gives me just the area where the two shapes kind of intersected one another, which in this case is my leaves up at the top. So now that I have it as its own object, I can come and style it however I like. So the most obvious uh, choice would be to make it green, and then I can just line it up perfectly on the top. And all of a sudden, I have a much more realistic looking tomato. All right, so that's step one. That's how you can deal with shapes that can't be broken apart. But we can go a little bit further and with a few real simple techniques, add some real depth and dimension to this object here. So I'm gonna take both my shapes. I'm just gonna move them back over to the side. And let's take our tomato itself and again, Command D to duplicate it. And I'll bring it over here. And I'm gonna use that same technique again where I draw with my pen tool to select a portion of the tomato. And what I'm trying to do here is to kind of highlight this side of the tomato. And I wanna make that a slightly different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pen and draw a shape kind of like this. Okay, and then one of the nice things about these shapes is these are curves that can be edited. So when I hover over it, I see this little dot and I can drag that to create kind of a curve here and just sort of tweak my, um, my line so that it is exactly what I want it to be. So maybe something like that, okay? And so same technique as before, I'm gonna drag to select both the tomato and my shape head over to Arrange, and choose Intersect. And now I have this little sliver right here. Now what I would like to do with this is make it a similar color, but just a little bit darker. So in the Style menu, I'm gonna click on the color, and I'm gonna jump over to the um, kind of Spectrum option here, and I'm just gonna drag the slider to make it a slightly darker tone of red, something like that. And now I can drag it right on top, and line it up, and I have all of a sudden added some depth to my tomato. Now, 
In this example, the light source for the tomato is coming from the left because the left side is lighter and the right side is now a little darker. Well, that would be true for the leaves as well. So I'm going to do that same technique one more time with the leaves. So let me grab the leaves and Command D to duplicate. And I'm just going to draw a shape around them, something like this just to select those right hand leaves and then I'll drag to select both choose arrange and intersect and there's my little piece of the leaves and then we're gonna go into our colors and make it a slightly darker tone and then drag that right on top and get it lined up nicely and there we go and you can really go as far with this as you would like um, so I might actually choose to make the left-hand side a little bit lighter. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. So let's grab the tomato, Command D, and let's draw our shape. And this time we're going to kind of come over here. So I'm just going to draw the outline, and then I'll tweak the curve a little bit. Maybe something like that. Select them both arrange and intersect and then I'm going to make my color a little bit lighter and put that right on the left hand side and maybe we'll do the same thing with the stem so I'm just going to grab the leaf over here let's do it like this select them both and intersect and we'll make this a lighter color and we'll drag it over the top okay and now we have gone from a simple flat kind of boring tomato to something that has almost a comic or cartoon but somewhat three-dimensional effect now of course you can tweak this and add as many layers as you want um, but it really does add some life to the shapes so, hope this was a helpful tip. Thanks for watching.